Welcome to this course, where we will discuss the Simulation Express tool of SOLIDWORKS 2017. That allows you to perform engineering analysis using the finite element method. In this first class we will see how this course is organized to facilitate learning and we will know a little about Simulation Express. Let's get started. This course is organized into modules, which contain classes, where we teach step by step the concepts and the use of commands. Practical examples, where we do case studies to review learning, and complementary exercises, which are the tasks proposed for the student to do and train. Now let's get to know a little about Simulation Express. Finite element analysis is currently employed with computational aid, and allows us to obtain fast and reliable information about the project. We can simulate the application of efforts in the virtual environment, reducing the use of prototypes and correcting possible design errors. In this way, we have greater reliability, cost reduction and speed in development, which is essential to the success of the project. However, analysis software helps reduce the number of prototypes in field testing, but does not exclude this need. Prototypes in field testing are required to validate the project. In this course we will not detail concepts involved and necessary for the analysis. Because renders finite element analysis course is a prerequisite and deals with these important concepts. Simulation Express is the basic CAE tool available in SOLIDWORKS. With SOLIDWORKS Simulation Express, we can perform analysis of basic stresses acting on individual parts, simulating force or pressure application effects. Let's now look at how to access Simulation Express, and to do so, we need to have a solid piece open in the program. Then we click on the menu tools and in Express Products, click on Simulation Express. When accessing for the first time after installing the program, you will be required a code that you generate using the link that will be presented. In other accesses, the wizard opens directly in the task pane, displaying a welcome message and introductory information. You who have SOLIDWORKS Simulation, which is the full simulation add-in, and have it active, cannot access Simulation Express. First you need to disable this add-in by accessing the Tools, Add-ins menu, and then accessing Simulation Express. And we ended here this first class, where we saw how the course is organized and we knew a little about Simulation Express.